So my first question is to Christine. Christine, how can we define accessibility? How expansive can we make that definition? And why is providing accessibility important for a wider and inclusivity and equity lens? Great question. So I view accessibility as the ability to use it and understand it. And this fits in with three different types of accessibility. These three types are visual, motor, and mobility. And the third would be auditory accessibility. So accessibility means increasing access for everyone and also understanding the three types of accessibility you can offer to make things easier for one person to figure out you know, how to make accessibility happen for everyone. So according to an article that is in Forbes published in 2020, by the number of people who have disabilities, those who have disabilities are the largest minority group in the United States. So that means that accessibility truly does matter. So really everyone benefits from accessibility. Accessibility and accessible design improves access to information, not only for individuals with disabilities, but for those without. And it also leads, so it does lead to improving employee experience and also making for better retention of your employees. So as a deaf person, I really loathe going to places where there are announcements, auditory announcements being made, but nothing visual for me to read the announcements. For example, a coffee shop that calls your name from the counter, an airport, a train stop, bus station. So whenever I travel, when I'm at the airport, I rely on text messages to show me that maybe my flight is delayed or other important information. And I do not miss the days when I had to go to the airport and sit at the gate right there at the front row with eyes on every single person coming up to that, you know, walkie talkie to make an announcement and try to lip read and figure out or read their expression. Was this a serious announcement? Maybe our flight's been delayed two hours or maybe they had a casual expression and it, it was just delayed for a minute and they were making that announcement. There was nothing accessible for me at the gate at all. And now I have text alerts and those benefit not just me, but everyone, because some people may miss an announcement. If the environment is too noisy to hear them, if they step away to use the restroom, if they step away for an important business call. So um, even though maybe they're watching a movie on their phone. So I really like seeing how more and more places are starting to think this way to have a visual screen or some sort of text alert notification to let you know, um, you know, that Whatever your next destination is, if you're riding the train or a bus, it comes up on a visual screen so you know you're getting off soon. Or if you're in a coffee shop or at a pharmacy where they're calling out your name, my name appears on the screen. I know to walk up to the counter and get mine. Um, I love going to coffee shops that provide that kind of accessibility for me, that have it on a visual screen as well as the old old fashioned auditory way. And I will frequent those coffee shops over coffee shops that do not provide accessibility where their customer service is not very good. So that's an example of increase, increasing customer loyalty if you make your location accessible. So uh, we are all in the age now, of course, of multitasking as we know, and the types of accessibility that you can provide truly do benefit everyone. 